Check the first link in the info box down below. Get your very own Swamp Family Pop Socket today. They are available in the standard pop socket and a mirrored pop socket where you can have one and two times mirror magnification. Get yours today, limited time only. When I say bananas, you say pepper. <laughs> Why am I fat? You guys, I just opened a VAT19 mystery box and it was exciting. It was also surprisingly sticky, so. Be on the lookout for that video. You guys, today I'm going to film one more video before I clean up. If you guys could only see. I do that all the time where I just like film, 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 and then like I'm done filming. I'm ready to eat or something. And I'm like, you know what? I'll clean that up tomorrow. And then it's like two weeks of I'll clean that up tomorrow. And then you get today. How did you like that horror story? Was that spooky? Um. Okay, so... Today, we're gonna be opening some jewelry. I started opening uh, one envelope first and I was like, wait, just sit down, chill, make a fun video. You guys, I've kind of been in a funky mood all day today. You guys, TMI, I'm feeling a little bit hormonal. And I'm, I just always, the first week of November is always just me kind of like settling in and acknowledging the fact that Halloween is over. And I feel like that's when I get like my seasonal, like I feel like I, I even said this in the other video, but I feel like most people get like seasonal depression after Christmas. I get seasonal depression after Halloween. And I hate to even say like depression because I'm not, I'm definitely not feeling that way. I'm just feeling like kind of like, ugh, like kind of in a, kind of in a slump, in a funk. Anyway, today we're gonna unbox some jewelry. And this is from a brand that I'm sure you guys have seen online. I feel like they're so popular now and I get ads for them every single day, pretty much on Instagram. They reached out to me and let me actually pick out some pieces. So this is not sponsored, but they did send it to me. And I'm so excited to look at all these beautiful pieces. Which box? Which box do I pick first? I think I'm gonna pick this one because it has this like, I think that's supposed to be a moon. But look at these, look at these boxes. So anyway, today we're gonna do a jewelry unboxing. I don't know if I've ever done a jewelry unboxing before on all of my years of YouTube, but today is that day. All right, what did we get? Oh, we still don't know what. Did we get, oh, I think that this is the bracelet. So it says handmade for heavy metal hearts. Oh my gosh, okay, so let's see. Oh my gosh, yes, okay. I think that this is gonna be a bracelet that I was so excited for. Okay, like, let's get real. I was very excited for all of this, but oh my gosh, I've never really, not that I've never, it's been a long time since I've had like any kind of chain bracelet and oh my God, this fits perfectly. So I think this piece is called the Starry Night bracelet, but I'm gonna like link you guys to everything uh, down below. Probably like inserting some other additional clips here just because I am one lamp down in here, which sometimes I feel like it makes the lighting look better. And sometimes I feel like it makes the lighting look worse, so. <laughs> I don't know how the lighting looks right now, but I want to make sure you guys see how gorgeous this piece is. It has all of these stars like carved into the metal. And another thing I love is that it's all like sterling silver jewelry. So I can definitely like wear it and it's not gonna like give me any problems. I feel like I have talked about this with like jewelry stuff like over the past couple of years. Like I used to only be sensitive to metal like in my ears but now like over the last five years I swear I've gotten like more sensitive to stuff and now like sometimes if I wear like just generic metal or something like on my neck it will start to like irritate me like I can wear it for like short periods of time but if I ever like do what I used to do and just basically like put a necklace on and leave it on all day, all night, I do start to like feel like rashy and irritated and everything. So it's always cool when there's like jewelry like this, in my opinion, that is a little bit like more funky or like alternative or something, but it's still 
like available in like sterling silver. Other thing is I feel like bracelets are like usually always way too big on me but I did get the smallest size so this was in 6.5 inches I think and this fits perfectly. It's not too tight. I do have like a little bit of wiggle room because I mean obviously you don't want it like cutting off the circulation or something you know. I love this. I, I really I absolutely love this. Uh, all right bucks number next and it probably tells me like what piece is on here but hey why ruin the surprise so this is box number two i also love their logo because i just love a good gothic font face so let's see what is in here oh yes okay this is part of their romeo and juliet collection which i love oh my gosh look at that so like you can actually it's just like a sterling silver chain that comes in here first. I actually didn't know because I did see that some of the things that they sold were just plain chains. So I did not know if I was going to be getting the pendant with a chain or if I was just getting just the pendant. Like I said, this is from um, their Romeo and Juliet collection and it's actually based off of the shirt that Leonardo DiCaprio wears in the Romeo and Juliet movie. And I just, I honestly just love like Sacred Heart. I have a lot of like Sacred Heart items. Oh my God, look at the detail, you guys. The uh, lobster clasp actually has like a little rose even there. So this is the chain. If anybody knows like what this specific type of chain is called, let me know. Oh my gosh, I feel like I just put it on here backwards. Anybody else have to just like clasp their jewelry always in the same way, like, the claw has to be on the left. The claw has to be on the right. Well, I guess that would make sense like if you're right or left-handed. Y'all, what did I say? I'm in a funky mood today, can you tell? So there we go. Look at that, I love it, so beautiful. I just also like love these like wax seal things. That is definitely what it reminds me of. And it just like, it feels like so like dainty. I love like layering stuff lately. I feel like whenever I wear necklaces, I'm always wearing like at least two necklaces at once. So let's see, what are we, oops. I threw it right on the floor. Oh my gosh, look, it's another pendant. Oh my gosh, but I love this. Look at the detail, you guys. So this, the lobster clasp actually has a sword on it. Oh my God, I love that. So um, I wonder if this was actually part of the Romeo and Juliet collection as well. I always love necklaces like this. It kind of reminds me of like Excalibur. So that is what this is. They actually had a couple different options for like sword or dagger pendants, but this one was definitely my most favorite one. Cause like I said, it just kind of looks like an Excalibur sword, but I bet it's meant to be like a Romeo and Juliet sword oh my god can i just make it in my own head like a musketeer sword now that i said musketeer sword i'm so ready to get more tattoos i'm trying to debate if i want to go like this year but i'm probably i probably know myself i'm probably gonna wait till next year see i could totally see myself like putting these even on the same chain they really look good together i do this thing all the time where i use those like ouchless elastic like little rubber band hair ties and i just like put that on and <laughs> like kind of tie the chain in a knot and that kind of helps me too like if the chains are like the same length and I want to wear two necklaces like that at once am I just like really explaining my captain obvious right now another box another beautiful box oh these are the earrings I have a ring that goes with this as well these are I don't remember like I don't remember the little names that they had for each piece but oh my gosh I love these these are so lightweight so I definitely do think that these were part of the Romeo and Juliet collection as well this is what I love to do I always love when earrings are like this like these little I'm not sure what this hook is called but it's basically like a hook with a clasp but you guys know i forever and ever i've had these like hoops in my ears for years now and what i love to do is just like thread other jewelry oh i think i put it on backwards through these hoops and then i can like leave the hoops in my ears because i kind of have gotten to a place with my ears where i basically have to wear like at least 10 karat gold i got these hoops from walmart a million years ago and 
I love them so much. They were like $9. You guys, I wanna get like more ear piercings again too. Even though I had only three piercings forever and then I got this one like re-pierced, I think like three years ago now. I wish I at least had like one or two more. Well, I guess, you know what, I've had more than, so I have one, two with the industrial, three, four, five. So I had five piercings forever and then I added a sixth one. But I think I need like a seventh one. Have you guys heard about the service now at Target? <laughs> I know like somebody out there has to be cringing right now that I'm saying, I want an ear piercing from Target. I feel like that sounds like the I want an ear piercing from Claire's thing. But I think I'm actually gonna try that service out because they have like a nurse like a registered nurse or something. And they will even like make a house call to your house. So you can like schedule an appointment and the piercer will like come to you and like pierce your ears. I don't know, does that sound like legit? Is that the same like level of like, I got a piercing at Claire's, which by the way, <laughs> most of my piercings did come from Claire's. Even the cartilage one came from Claire's. The industrial I got done at a tattoo parlor, and then when I got this one redone, this bottom lobe piercing, um, I got it done at a tattoo parlor. But every other piercing I've ever had in my life came from Claire's. I used to have piercings like going all up my ear here, um, but I had so many of those things come up on the back. I actually still have like a little bump right here. There's no way you guys are gonna be able to see that, but I have a little bump right back here. Um, Claire's piercing. <laughs> Why did I just go on a 10 minute Claire's piercing story? But you guys, it is the ring that I told y'all I had to match the earrings. Oh my God, focusing level zero. There we go. Look at that, I love it. Oh, I'm trying to like show you guys the ring and the bracelet in the same frame. Look at that, I love it, honestly. It looks so cool. Oh, there's like designs on the side too. It's like almost a fleur-de-lis. Love it. All right, I have two more pieces to show you guys from the Romeo and Juliet collection. So all the boxes look the same. The only difference, hello. Y'all, I don't know why this camera like does not want to focus in here lately, um, but every single box and sleeve has looked the same today, except for the bracelet. That was like that moon thing. What is this camera focusing on? We have another necklace and this one once again has the rose detail on the lobster claw class. This is a masquerade mask. How amazing is that? You guys, I need lotion on my hands desperately so don't laugh at my crispy crunchy hands. So this one is actually like a charm kind of or like how can we say that you can't take it off of this chain. This is like the first necklace we've seen today that is not like a charm and pendant kind of situation, I guess is like a good way to describe it. And you guys, last one. So this is actually the Montague piece and I love this so much. I feel like this just takes me back to my childhood, you guys. I used to be obsessed with the Leonardo DiCaprio, Romeo and Juliet movie. I saw it. I don't even know how many times I had both of the soundtracks. I listened to them daily. I need a sippy sippy. It has like two swords crossed at the top. Oh my God, it even has like fists holding the swords. Then we have a cross in the middle, a B on the top. It says Montague. And then um, we have like all this like scroll work behind the cross. And then we have these three dangling charms off of the bottom. So they had a Montague one and a Capulet one. I don't remember what the Capulet one looked like. Am I saying that right? Cap Capulet. Why does that sound so weird? It's like, you know, when you say a word too many times and then it doesn't sound like what you're saying, right? So this one is like a much longer pendant. Oh my God, I'm wearing like four necklaces at once right now. So um, yeah, this is so cool. I love the movements. The little skull hanging off of there is of course my favorite. It seems like such high quality pieces. Like I really feel like this is like 
heirloom jewelry. Like you can just have it forever. I, I honestly don't know what is my favorite piece today. Probably the bracelet. It's just like, it feels like so nice and it looks so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Let me know what y'all think. I know today's video was like kind of random, but I've honestly like, I've been back into the swing of like nearly filming and editing every single day. I feel like I've put more content out now lately than I've done in a really long time. And I honestly really, really miss it. Like I used to upload daily, pretty much daily. And then like, I don't know. I, I got in like a funk and I and I didn't I like stopped uploading so frequently but it has felt so good to just check in with you guys nearly every day just like doing random stuff I don't know I feel like it's been like motivating my creativity like more and more lately I just feel like I've kind of had like an off day today but hey you know what there's always tomorrow <laughs> thank you guys so so much for hanging out with me today and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be hit the button down below subscribe become a member of the banana pepper squad today and until I see you guys again which is going to be really really soon stay happy stay healthy stay Stay sassy, stay banana peppery. Also, you guys, don't forget to check out the first link in my info box down below that will link you to my Snapchat show. And I upload there every Mondays and every Thursday. And also, if you want, you can follow me on TikTok, uh, TikTok at Graveyard Girl. I almost said same way it's spelled here, but this is spelled banana peppers. <laughs> this video is a mess today. I love y'all so, so much. Bye!